Hey guys, I am Talk Custom, and on today's video, we are going to teach you how to use a sewing machine. So if you've never sewn anything in your life, uh, stick around, and I'm going to teach you how to use this machine right now. Okay, so for this beginner's level tutorial, I'm gonna be teaching you how to sew using the Singer Tradition, which I got at Joanne for about $90. I think you can get them even cheaper now. Uh, this is a very basic machine, but this is what I learned on, so I'm gonna walk you through how to set this up and start sewing. The first thing you need to do after you unbox this is plug in your power and foot pedal. So <clears throat> on the right side of the machine is a socket where you're going to plug this in and then just plug in power and set your foot pedal down below your desk. So once you have your machine plugged in, you just flip the switch on the right here and then the light bulb should turn on. Um, the first thing I need to teach you how to do is wind a bobbin. So every sewing machine has thread on the bottom and thread on top, and when they interweave between each other, that is how uh, you sew two pieces of fabric together. Um, so the first thing we're gonna do is that. Now this is an older machine, so this actually has a bobbin case. So I will explain this, and right now I'm gonna teach you how to wind a bobbin. So I've got some black thread here. I have my thread stopper, and I have an empty bobbin. This is what you need uh, to start sewing. So the first thing we have to do is to put our thread on this thread bar here and then we're going to hold it in place with the thread stopper. Then you're going to take your thread and run it through this little metal loop here and then I'm going to wrap it tightly between the screw and this washer here and it's gonna give it a little bit of tension so I can pull it tight. Then I'm gonna take the end of this thread and I'm gonna put it between the top and the bottom of this bobbin and push it out through the top hole in this bobbin, okay? So now it looks like that and I'm gonna run this all the way over here to the clutch, I believe it's called. Okay, so now I have my thread going from the spool all the way around here to here. Now, what you want to do when you get it here is take the clutch and snap it over to the right. And then using the foot pedal, you can very slowly start winding. Okay. Now, after it goes around a few times, I like to trim off the top so that I don't have to hold it anymore. Now, I'm just going to run this until the bobbin is full. And there's a little stopper here on the right side. So when it's full, it will stop. Okay, once your bobbin is full, you can trim the thread and then snap this to the left and then just pick it up. Okay, so to set our bobbin in place, we have to slide out the canister and then this little door opens up and there's a little bobbin casing here. Okay, so we have to set the bobbin in here so that it will pick up the thread. Okay, so <laughs> to set this bobbin in this type of thread casing, we're going to make sure that the thread is coming off clockwise. We're gonna put it right into the casing, okay. All right, now there's a little groove at the top, so we wanna take the thread and pull it, so it goes in that groove, and then we're gonna pull it up, okay, and it will eventually snap into place right there. So that's what's gonna give this some resistance so that when the machine pulls it, you've got the proper tension, okay? All right, now that we have our bobbin wound, uh, what you wanna do is grab this and open the lever on the casing. Make sure this little bar is upright. We're gonna put it in to the machine and when we let go, that will snap into place. So now we can close the door and put our canister back and the bobbin is done. All right, the next thing we need to do is wind the top thread. So. Pull this out from what we had earlier. And on this machine, what we're gonna do is we're gonna slide this 
between that metal bar like we did before. Now, instead of going through the screw, we're gonna go behind this white bar right here. And then this wants us to bring the thread down. So let me move the camera. We're gonna pull the thread down, right? And then we're gonna loop it around. We're gonna come back up. And there's a little metal hook right here that you can see at the top. And we're gonna go up and around that and then back down, okay? So we go down, around, up, and over the metal thing, and then back down, okay? <clears throat> okay, so when we get to the bottom, we're gonna get to our needle. Now you wanna make sure your needle is all the way up, okay? And what we're gonna do is, if you hold your thread sideways, there's a little bar right where my fingernail is there, okay? So you need to get the thread so that it goes behind that bar, okay? And that stabilizes the thread so that when we put it through the needle, it won't fall out of place, okay? Now, uh, you can either just put the, the end of the thread through the eye of this needle right here, or you can use the automatic threader. Okay, uh, to use the automatic threader on this machine, I, it took me a second to, to remember this because it is not modern. But you put it through the little V on this metal thing, and you're going to bring it down. And then after that, um, you have to pull the thread over and put it between these little metal things from the bottom and hold it up. And then when you let go, it's going to pull the thread out of the back of the eye of the needle and make a little loop. And then you take the loop and pull it, and that pulls the thread through. A lot, the newer... Uh, Automatic threaders are much smarter than this, but it, this does technically work. So the top thread is threaded. So in the back here, there is a little lever that raises and lowers the presser foot. Uh, we want to keep it up and we're going to push our thread through the presser foot. And then we're gonna bring the foot down. Now on the right side of the machine is the big wheel and we're gonna turn it towards ourselves. Always turn the wheel towards yourself. And I am going to do one full rotation where I'm gonna put this down and pull it up. And I'm gonna slightly pull on the thread that we just threaded through the top there. Now, after we do that, there should be a loop on the bottom, which there is right here. So I wanna take my scissors and just drag it underneath now, what that's going to do is bring the bobbin thread up to the top. So now we have our bobbin thread and our top thread. This is exactly what we want to see. Now we are absolutely ready to start sewing. I just wanted to do a little test. So I've got two pieces of, you know, little science fabric here. And what I'm going to do is put these right sides together. Because in most cases in sewing, you want right sides together. So you should see the wrong side of the fabric on both sides. You want to line up your fabric, and there's these little notches on the right side. There's these little lines on the plate here. And I'm gonna line these up on the 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance. We will talk about seam allowances in a future video. Um, but what I wanna do is just show you a very basic stitch. So this might be your first stitch ever. Uh, but I'm going to put the needle down through the fabric using my hand wheel. Now, on this machine, there's a little reverse lever. Uh, some machines have a button, but this one's a lever. So if I want to stitch backwards, I have to hold this down. So almost every time I do a stitch or a seam, I will do a back stitch that goes off the fabric, and then I will do a front stitch. And what that does is locks up that seam so it doesn't fall apart. It makes it a lot stronger. I'm going to show you a close-up of that back stitch. So I would start my stitch and go a few, and then I'm going to go backwards and go off the edge of the fabric, and then I'm going to let it go and let it come back forward. Now, all I want to do is run this machine and make sure this edge is right on that notch on the plate, and I'm just going to run this all the way across. And then when I get to the other end, I'm going to do another back stitch. So I'm going to run off the, fab the end of the fabric, go backwards, and then go forwards. Okay. Now, I want my needle to be up, and I'm going to bring the presser foot up. And as I pull this off, I'm going to trim my 
threads. So we just did our first seam. Let's see how this looks. All right, here's our first seam. And when we open these up, we're gonna see two pieces of fabric that are now sewn together. Now the seam is five eighths of an inch, so there's lots of different things we can do with that. And I'll talk about that in other tutorials like serging and top stitching. All right, now that we got through our first stitch, I just wanna show off some other features of this particular machine. Uh, our hand wheel is on the right. Always make sure you turn it towards yourself and that's gonna make the needle go up and down. Helps you get some control. Uh, this dial here controls the stitch length, so how long each, each stitch is. And this is uh, our stitch patterns. So there's all kinds of different ones. This is just a straight stitch, but there's you know zigzag and you can go through all the other ones. If you wanna switch to the blue one, like this one has a uh, triple wide straight stitch. Uh, on, this, on the length one, there's a little blue S and that will correspond with the blue uh, stitches on the bottom wheel. Otherwise, I like to keep my stitch length at about two and a half. Uh, over here on the top left is the tension wheel. Uh, I like to keep it between four and five as automatic tension. Uh, and the width controls where the needle rests. So if I bring my needle up and I move this dial, it's gonna move the needle a little bit to the right or left. That's about it for this machine. This is a very, very simple machine. Again, it is really cheap. And going back to this, I realize how sophisticated my other machines are. Um, but I wanted to start with the cheapest, most simple a tutorial video that I could. So this machine can get you sewing. It can be kind of challenging with a cheap machine, but it does it does work. All right, so that about wraps up just the beginner level tutorial. Uh, on the next few videos, I will show you how to change needles and different bobbins and some other techniques on getting uh, the results that you're looking for. I'm also gonna do another uh, beginner's level tutorial using this, this is the Brother SE400. I absolutely love this machine. This is the machine I use every day now. Uh, and it does both sewing and embroidery. So if you're new to sewing and embroidery, check out that video when we do this one. All right, you guys, that is it for this uh, quick tutorial video. Uh, we took two pieces of fabric and sewed them together. That's pretty basic. But uh, if you got to this point, you now have a machine where you can make all kinds of amazing things. And we're going to talk a lot about those kind of projects in the next few videos. Um, but thank you so much for watching. I'm kind of revamping my whole YouTube channel with some new tutorial videos and some other projects. So if there's anything you'd like to see or if you have any questions or comments, please let me know in the comments. Otherwise, please subscribe to the channel. It really does help me continue to make some new content for you guys. Again, uh, thank you very much for watching and I will see you guys on the next video.